Ukrainian troops gain an advantage in their battlefield positions thanks to Soviet agricultural planning. One such element is the forest belts, writes the Washington Post. Ukrainian armed forces soldiers who are on the front line in Donetsk Oblast shared with journalists that control over strategic forest strips can be decisive in winning or losing a battle. The tree line is safe, said Alexander, a member of the National Guard's 15th Brigade artillery team. The publication recalled that the forest belts are trees that were planted decades ago across eastern and southern Ukraine. They are designed to strengthen adjacent fields and help reduce soil erosion from wind. A Ukrainian shooter named Maxim said the best tree lines have high ground. Hilltops provide a stronger radio signal for drones and help infantry shoot down enemies below. According to Maxim, the forest strips have become one of the most valuable elements of the relief. He emphasized that they have to regularly fight for such positions with the Russian occupiers. This is both an advantage and a disadvantage. The enemy uses them in the same way. Director of the Institute of Biomedical Technologies of the University of Ukraine, Valentina Movchan, shared that actively planting rows of trees began during the reign of Joseph Stalin. She believes that this is perhaps the only positive consequence of those terrible times. The underdog invaded by a major world power, Ukraine was outmatched on every traditional defense metric. In 2021, the year before Russia's invasion, Ukraine defense spending was $4.7 billion compared to Russia's $45.8 billion. Russia outnumbered Ukraine in personnel, aircraft, armored vehicles, maritime vessels and almost every element of conventional warfare. Lacking the capabilities of NATO, Ukraine's smaller force had to become agile, leveraging novel uses of technologies to even the playing field. Ukraine's use of modified commercial aerial and naval drones, new satellite and artificial intelligence capabilities and social media has given Ukraine an edge which has implications for current and future conflicts. This article outlines five innovative technology applications used by Ukraine and explores four key lessons for the United States, including the benefits of flexibility in public-private partnerships and the changing role of the civilian in 21st century warfare. To defend along the 800-mile front, Ukraine needed quickly deployable reconnaissance capability and adaptable weaponry. Low-cost commercial drones nearly immediately filled that gap and have played a crucial role in limiting Russia's advances. While aerial drones have been used in military operations since the Vietnam War, Ukraine has made large-scale unprecedented use of commercial drones quickly modified for use on the battlefield. South Korea's spy agency said North Korean Foreign Minister Cho Sun Hui, who is visiting Russia, may be involved in high-level discussions on sending additional troops to Russia and negotiating what his country would get in return. Lee Song Kuyen, a lawmaker for People's Power Party, said in a briefing Tuesday that the National Intelligence Service also told lawmakers it's examining the possibility that some groups of North Korea's military personnel in Russia including generals or other high-ranking officials, may have already moved to frontline areas. The spy agency also said the two sides appear to be struggling to resolve communication issues, although the Russian military is training North Korean troops on Russian military terminology, Lee said. North Korea's top diplomat is visiting Russia in another sign of their deepening relations. The announcement of Ko's visit came hours after the Pentagon said North Korea has sent about 10,000 troops to Russia, who are expected to arrive in battlefields in Ukraine within the next several weeks. Pokemon,我一个天的同安,出发发表,所以我半个个不动,不可以的,呃,不可以的,不可以的,不可以的,不可以的,不可以的,不可以的,不可以的,不可以的,不可以的,不可以的,不可以的,不可以的,不可以的
북한군이 어려워한다는 부분이 있는 상태이고 그래서 소통 문제의 해결이 불통, 불투명하다는 추적 어, 예측을 하고 있습니다. 